Hey y'all and welcome to Peyton's Place. Here on Peyton's Place, I'm going to talk to you about how to be a boss and a baddie in business. Before we get started, I want to ask everyone to like, comment, and subscribe and hit that little bell as well to turn on your post notifications so you never miss an episode because I'm here every Wednesday at 11 a.m. Central Time and I'm dropping information that I wish I could use when I first got into um my working post grad but because I've lived through this I'm gonna just tell y'all about it now so you don't have to deal with the same things I did but I want to start something new called corporate conversations and this series is gonna be me and um i might have friends as well who are going to come and just talk about different tips or things um that you should do or try to do in the work world so to start corporate conversations for this first episode i want to talk about um the importance of finding your people so i think it's it's important for everyone to be able to find their people but especially if you're in a situation where like there's not many women in your field or there's a big age difference in your field between most of your co-workers um if people don't look like you you know race or ethnicity wise if even if you're talking different things like you know being able to connect with people who are like-minded and, and go through similar things that you will go through at your job because of either you know being a minority being not the majority um or just needing to talk to someone who has maybe had a similar experience to you because they've lived through it so almost like a mentor in some sense but that's a whole another conversation of how it's so important to have mentors this one i want to talk about you know just finding your people so for me personally um i work in a field where i'm the youngest in my department um and i'm also one of a few black women um there is a decent my field is heavily um like there's a lot of women there's more women than men so in that sense there's a lot of different people there that i feel like i can connect with um but my department and the company overall is very much um you know majority white as i feel like most businesses are i'm used to that coming from a predominantly white institution a predominantly white high school so this isn't nothing new for me but i think just as when i was in college and i was struggling to really like my university and the school i went to i started to really enjoy school and my experience once i found my group of people and after dealing with that in college i knew i wanted to find those people in my next job or you know whatever i did after college and i've been able to do that through um being like different connecting with other people who are in black greek letter organizations different women different um black people in general so whatever it is that you feel like is important to your identity or important to you being able to um important to finding like-minded people i would say look at those different things and try to find your group of people so there's women who are at my job who are great mentors who i've been able to talk to and connect with as a woman um in this field there's also black women i've been able to talk to because um they identify the way i identify personally i've been able to talk to other co-workers or colleagues who um are black as well and like you know even though they're males there's still similar experiences that are there so for me personally that's been something that's it's been really a game changer in the different spaces i'm in because i'm a pretty confident person but when you go to a new job and you're trying to find your space and you're trying to figure out where you fit in um sometimes walking into rooms that where you're the only person that looks like you can be intimidating uh, especially when it's new and even if you're not if you're not used to that as well it can be very difficult and that's where finding those affinity groups ideally um is very important so uh i want to talk about like just a personal experience as to why this has been important and very influential to me in business um 
So I feel like I don't want people to confuse what I'm saying with like, you should be best friends with the people you work with because I'm a very standoffish person. Um, like I'm very friendly. I'm very, you know, polite, respectable. Um, but I'm not going to work to be like best friends with my coworkers. Now I, it's very important to have a great working relationship where we have that mutual respect between each other. And you know, even hanging outside of the workplace is fine. Like we've had different happy hours and events and stuff like that, that we've celebrated. And that's totally cool. But I'm not interested in being like besties with my coworkers. Like I think it's a fine line between work and friends um but i do think it's important to be you know be cool with the people that you're working with that helps overall in general so i say that to say that i'm not the person who's like in people's faces trying to figure out about their life and this that, and the third and opening up about my whole life that's not me at all but it is important to find those affinity groups or just those people that you feel like you want to really get to know because you think they'll add value to um to your life at work and then in return i'm sure you'll add value to their life as well so personally um this week was a little difficult for me it's homecoming week it's my first homecoming here at the job um at the school i'm working for and homecoming is a really big deal for my department we run basically everything so it's already a very stressful time of year there's more work there's more things that needs to be done um so that was you know a lot that was going on and then on top of that i had a recent death in my family and I feel like you know certain things just kind of weigh on you and i this death was just heavy on me so i with all the work stuff that i was doing and being stressed about that and also just carrying the weight of having dealt with this because it was just super random and um on like nobody saw this coming so happened to still work over the 40 hours this week because we had stuff after work hours and then just dealing with this was a lot so typically when people ask me like oh how are you i'm like oh i'm good how are you you know we keep it pushing but this time one of my coworkers asked how i was and this is in particular um someone who i have a good working relationship with and i feel like is you know one of my people um and i just asked her like if i if i was able to unpack a few things with her and just like kind of just let a load off because it's one thing for your family well my family to understand how i'm feeling with the death but these people also understand how i'm stressed about work as well because we're doing the same not doing the same thing but like we're in the same department both stressed out about this event so um and she was just like yeah of course and we were able to talk and i just felt so much like a weight was just lifted off of my shoulders um even though nothing changed like the situation is what it is homecoming is what it is like nothing changed but i was just able to just like release um everything that i was that i was dealing with and i wouldn't have been able to do that if i hadn't built this relationship with this person prior to this event so you don't want to find yourself in a situation where you're going through something and then you have to find someone because you want to already have these relationships with people in general not just for whenever you feel like you need them but it's just great to connect with people and network with people at your job even if it is on more than just a co-worker level because you do have other things in common that you find um and i think i want to give a few short bullet points as to why finding your people is so important so first it gives you a safe space at work there's we're at work 40 plus hours of the week a lot of our time is spent at work i feel like if i'm not at work i'm typically by myself so most of the time when i'm around people is at work so i need my workspace whether that's you know my office space being organized or the uh, my team that i work with or the working relationships that i have i need to feel safe in those spaces in order to really um work to the potential that i feel like i can work to like you want to feel safe in places that you're spending a lot of time in and 
when you are cool and have those relationships with your coworkers, whether it's just, you know, working good working relationships or it's something like this where it's um you really see this person as someone you can confine in work wise it makes you feel safe and you want to feel safe anywhere that you're spending a lot of time also it allows you to have an open and honest relationship with someone at work and i think that's important as well because um sometimes we can feel like we're flipping a switch when we're like going to work and coming back home like i'm a person at work i'm a person at home but having those people who you feel like you can like genuinely be yourself around and granted you can you know you should be able to feel like you can be yourself around anyone but some of those people can really know will really know you more just because like they know more about your life they know where you come from so like different things that you're doing just make sense because they know you and not just like Peyton Wade, the assistant director, like they know me as a person. So I think that's important to it when it comes to finding your people. Also, I'm going to have an episode on this in itself, but it allows you to network and build connections. Networking is so important in business, y'all. One time, um, someone told me that it's not people are people are always like, it's who, you know, and they said it's not who, you know, it's who knows you. And the difference between that is when someone knows you and they can speak to you and your character, that's because they really know you. It's not just, oh, yeah, like I know, you know, like Peyton knows me like I can I can say I've seen some things that she's done. She has good work. But like someone who really knows me, they can say Peyton does this, this and this at work. Yeah, she has great work. This is her port, port, the portfolio. But the things that you don't see that you won't see in her work is xyz and this is why she's great for your company so building those relationships won't just benefit you when you're at work but they'll also benefit you when you move on to that next level or you move on to that next company and you need um you need those connections built and this person can really speak to you because you have them in your network of friends at work the other thing is, the last thing I'll say is, you'll feel more comfortable at work overall when you feel you have people who genuinely care about you. Um, when you know people have your best interests at heart and they're not being shady, they're not being malicious, they're not out to get you secretly, you can really just be comfortable in what you're doing. And when you're comfortable, I feel like you you can take more risks. And with that, you can learn from different things more, which allows you to grow as well. You feel more comfortable speaking up and giving your opinions about things, which may um, improve the company overall if you have this great idea, but you don't feel safe saying how you feel because you know you don't really know these people. So overall for work your personal work and the company as a whole it's important for you to have your people find those group of people that you feel like you can go to when you're just really struggling like you're trying to figure out how you're going to get all this done and somebody can can help walk you through it or you're dealing with something um and you just really need a mental break you just need to talk about what you're going through or talk about everything but what you're going through um you need those people who are there at work that you can just really go to. And as I'm saying that, I also want to remind us to also be those people who people can come to. So for example, I'm the youngest person at in my department, but we have interns and I'm always speaking to the interns. I've introduced myself to all the interns, letting them know who I am. Um, I'm here if you need anything because I was an intern a few years ago. So I know how that is and I want to be because of the age thing i feel like i can connect with them and i want to be used as a resource if they ever need me so it's important to not just have those people who are like your group of people but to also be that for someone um pay it forward it was, there's been people who've been there for us when we're doing things at work so be that for the next person um that's important as well so those are the four key things um, that I think make 
finding your group of people or people in general that you can really connect with and come find in um, whether you're you feel like you're connected through things you have in common or you just really appreciate how this person has been since you've been here at this um, at your job or you look up to them it's important to have those people in your corner so I want to thank you all for watching Peyton's Place and watching our first corporate conversations this is the first of many i hope you all enjoy it um comment below what you all want to talk about different things that you're interested in and if i have personal connections or i feel like i can speak to those topics then we'll dive right in i want to make sure you all subscribe hit that bell to turn on your post notifications so you never miss an episode of peyton's place we're here every wednesday at 11 a.m i'll see you next week